Hello everyone, it's Charlton. So, uh, Jim Acosta has been banned from the White House, at least temporarily. And he was forced to hand over his, his um, press pass that allows him access to the White House. He was supposed to be back in there at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. His 8 p.m., 8 o'clock hit. I don't know what that means. It's like press talk. So, but he videoed himself being asked by Secret Service, you know, police to, um, you know, hand over his press pass, which he did. He complied. And then he went on CNN and Anderson Cooper had him on. And several other reporters have tweeted, you know, they're saying because he laid uh, the actual statement from the White House, which was put out by Sarah Huckabee Sanders. It's over that incident right there. It's over the microphone, which I, I did find, you know, somebody in the comments said said something about that, that it's, you know, assault. And the person in the comments was obviously joking. And I joked back with him. But um, but I did, I did think it was pressing, you know, pressing, pressing is luck, definitely. And you can tell the girl's just, and she's an intern, you know, and she was very awkward in the position. So she's, you could tell she was trying to do her job and, um, and, be, and be respectful to the president. That's who they, she's there to work for and do a good job. And, um, you know, it was just a very awkward moment. And he just wouldn't give over the microphone. He said, excuse me, ma'am, or whatever the words he used. So the actual, though, um, statement put out by Sarah Huckabee Sanders was that she confirmed his tweet that he's been um, claiming the suspension of his press credentials stem from his placing his hands on a young woman trying just trying to do her job as a White House intern. She called the behavior absolutely unacceptable. So and cost his tweet. Is I've just I've I've just been denied entrance to the White House. Secret Service just informed me I cannot enter the White House grounds for my 8 p.m. hit, and then he videoed that, uh, you know, and put it on his Twitter feed. It's right there and it's upside down because he had his phone like just like I was saying he had it vertical or whatever. So uh, and and it's over at the Daily Mail. I'm gonna play that for you in a second. It's not that thrilling, but. So, and then he's on, uh, so here's the actual, I'll play, hold on, let me unplug here. Here's, and if you did it well, your ratings well, Let me ask you, if I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, if I may ask Peter, one other question, are you worried? Of, that's enough, that's Mr. enough. Mr. President, I, that's well, enough. I was ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am, I'm, I'm Mr. Excuse President. Me. That's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question. About, so that's the moment right there, you know, that, uh. That they're talking about, but it's just in general. It went on and on. The whole press conference. It went from I saw April Ryan, like was uh, just out of control, man. It's just sort of silly, you know. And uh, I understand trying to be. He's going to do just fine with this. Is making him rich, you know, not right this particular moment, but he's probably going to get one of you know his own show one day soon. I mean, that's is where Jake Tapper started. Same thing. Uh, Greg David Gregory, same 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 thing. It's super combative as a White House press correspondent, you know, with the uh, press secretary being uh, where the cameras are all on them. Eventually, you know, they go on to have their own show. David Gregory didn't didn't last like Jake Tapper has, but Jake Tapper, you know, he makes some jank, you know, for sure. I don't, I don't know how much, but it's good. So here's the video. Of him handing over his press credentials to the uh, Secret Service police officer. Why do you mind? I mean, it's. I was just told to do it. Okay, well, I, I have every right to report this. Uh, this is Jim Acosta. I am in front of the White House. Uh, Secret Service officer is asking for my hard pass. Uh, obviously, no hard feelings to the officer, uh, but I am now giving my hard pass to the Secret Service. Um, so, do you want to take it off the, the lanyard there? Or? Sure. Do you need help there? Actually, yeah, here. If you could hold that, I don't want to lose any of that. Sure, sure.
been here for a while, huh? Well, yeah, I've been working at the White House for five years, uh, covering two administrations. So, yeah, it's been in that thing for a while. Put this back here for you. All right. Thank you for your service, officer. I like how it's just, we will, we will rock you in the background. And I think there's a protest at the White House, uh, you know, um, at that moment. And here he is over in Anderson Cooper talking about it. Well, I said, listen, I know you're a professional. You're just doing your job. Uh, and uh, thanks for your service. And a, mic a credential I've had for five years. Um, I want to read a reaction from a few of your colleagues covering uh, the White House. Jeff Mason uh, from Reuters has tweeted, I was seated next to Acosta at today's press conference and did not witness him placing his hands, those in quotes, on the young intern as the White House alleges. He held onto the microphone as she reached for him. Peter Baker from the New York Times tweeted, false predicate to punish a reporter. This is what the president wants. If he really thought at Acosta was unfair. All right. So, you know, it's sort of silly. You know, it's not really, you know, okay, you're rude. They took your press pass. It's not the end of the world. You get your press pass back. In fact, it's all great for you. So it's, it's all good all around. You know, I mean, this is partly why Trump continues to do uh, so well is because basically he uh, just makes news nonstop. And these guys, um, you know, they all got these, uh, the, all these executives, news executives and reporters, for the most part, they can put their feet up and just, just, you know, sit back and relax and just comes into them. They don't even have to go chase down news. It's all comes right to them. And uh, it's easy peasy. And that's, uh, that's the story there, man. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.